Hey everybody, Steve Gamash here with another Chef Knives to Go quick look product review. And what we have this time is the Itohru Shirogami or White Number no. 2 Gitto 210 millimeter knife. And uh, the way this is constructed, it's got a hard center core cutting edge steel of Shirogami White Paper Number no. 2 reactive high carbon steel. Heat treat is around 62 Rockwell. Again, it is a reactive uh, steel. The construction also has a soft stainless cladding on either side of that hard core steel. And the cladding does have a, what's known as a Kuro Uchi or KU or blacksmith type uh, protective finish on that. The uh, weight and dimensions on these are going to vary a bit from knife to knife depending on you know exactly how they're hammered out. So these, this has, tends to have a pretty thick uh, tang coming out of the handle there, but uh, these are kind of thick and stout and stiff blades. It's just the way they're made in this line. The weight on this particular model is 237 grams or 8.4 ounces. Edge length is a generous 244 millimeters or nine and a half inches approximately, about 400 millimeters overall length of this handle combo. The thickness, as I said, coming out of the uh, handle, it actually Thickens up a lot right here, which is why the handle is not that far up on the tang, just because it's the handle's not super big. Uh, but uh, you need to focus there. But you can see about here, I measured around four and a half, and then it comes down to about three millimeters, and doesn't lose a lot. So it's a pretty stout, stiff blade. The grind is not super high on this, so you can see they do thin it out where it's ground down towards the tip and it's pretty thin at the very tip but again it's a pretty stout blade this is not what I would call gonna ghost through stuff although it has a lot of meat to it here's the choil shot and this choil shot and it varies a little bit down the blade this this choil shot almost looks like it's a little flatter on the left right side than the left uh, maybe a little bit but down the blade it's kind of seems a little more even 50-50 uh, blade height is pretty generous as well, 48.5. You've got a thin neck, so gobs and gobs of room here. Obviously, the way this handle's put on, it's not the world's biggest handle. Um, and the tank's pretty thick, so they didn't get it on, you know, super far up here. So you've got lots of space there for a pinch grip. The handle, speaking of which, is octagonal. It's a maple main part of the handle, and then buffalo horn. This, this particular buffalo horn is pretty cool. It's got a little bit of blonde notes to it. It's pretty neat. Um... Nice fit and finish on the handle. Looks like a pretty tight install there as well. This handle is quite light compared to the blade, so that's going to be the balance point way up here. This could be a good candidate for a custom handle where it's a little bit larger handle and maybe get that up a little closer uh, up there where it might make the balance point a little bit better. But uh, there is your balance point. So it's pretty far forward again with this particular handle. Combination of the blade you know, has some weight to it and uh, definitely got some power on this knife. Uh, fit and finish is well done. And there we go, and get that to focus. So there's our, kind of our beauty shot there. So this does have hand chiseled, hand engraved kanji on it. Easy to see. Kind of run your fingers over there, you can feel it. It's got a very smooth finish on each side. I, there's not really any kind of Nishiji or anything like that. It's just pretty smooth. Kuda Uchi finish on there, and then you've got the grind. Very easy to see. And then there's the cladding line there where you got the core steel at the edge. Uh, as I said, it's a very stiff blade. Uh, it's pretty sharp out of the box. I'll give it 6 out of 10 on my scale. It's quite sharp. Uh, let's look at uh, the spine here. It's got some relief to it on the corners, and so does the choil, so it's very comfortable out of the box. So the fit and finish is nicely done. It's a straight blade. Here is what it looks like on the cutting board. So it's got a just a good, this has a very smooth profile. Uh, there's no hitches in it at all. It's very uh, smooth all the way down, kind of glides all the way in. It's not real flat in any particular area. Uh, it kind of rolls all the way to the back. But it's very, very smooth. You've got a bit of an aggressive belly towards the tip, so I can get this thing uh, up in there before it wants to dig in the tip. So definitely this will rock pretty nicely off a lot of, over a lot of stuff and push-pull cuts and so on. I wouldn't say it's pure chopper, but depending on how you chop, you might be able to 
get away with it with a little movement there. But it's a neat looking knife and uh, it's a kind of a, if you're looking for kind of a stiff stout blade with some mass to it, this is a good candidate. So this is the Ito Huru uh, Shidogami or white number two, Gyuto 240 millimeter knife.